Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts, and like part three or four, I don't know, of once known for her nice tweets on Twitter. And it still affects me even like a year and a half, I guess now, since I've left because that algorithm, algorithm that Elon Musk created. And I was on Twitter for a decade and I don't know what was happening. Um, I got so caught up with that gender dysphoria thing so caught up and I was trying so good not to be part of the clickbait rage not the culture war to genuinely be concerned with these individuals that call themselves the transitioners and at the end of the day all of their stories were for exploitation for propaganda of a culture war and I thought like I could like well I could trust this one guy this guy seems so like average and normal and ordinary and it turned out he was just one of these rage bait culture warriors and you know like big pharma always wins so that's the reason why I like the so focus on the miners because pharmaceutical companies will have lifelong consumers consumers right so they can wait till you're 18 and I just don't believe anybody should have sex trait modification. I know people are like, it's a free country and all that. But I would love to see the actual medical doctors, not the lobbies on the right and the left, not the big pharmaceutical companies. I think one day they will retire this practice of sex trait modification and people will not have to change their pronouns. They can have individual expressions without saying, just because like I'm a feminine male or what have you, you're still a man, right? And this, this weird gender stereotypes, right? Where we're all created in the image of God. But something broke me a year and a half when I came to the realization these people that said they cared about gender and gender dysphoria were con artists. They had to set a narrative to get people all concerned and angry that they were grooming the kids at schools. And some of that queer theory is there, but I know from my time at DCF, there's usually something happening in that home, some sort of a trauma. Every detransitioner story has some sort of trauma involved, right? That didn't occur at school, it happened at home. You know, and they were trying to cope and using the gender dysphoria issue as a coping mechanism. But you know, it's all the rage bait, all the anger. And it is just used, you know, they want to get the parents angry, right? And then, you know, I still see it in my YouTube feed once in a while. You know, somebody like they're transing and mutilating the kids. I'm like Donald Trump just making some shit up about, sorry for swearing, about you can go to school and they'll trans your kid right away in three or four, like three or four weeks. That's not the case, guys. You know that, but you will eat that up. No one, I feel so stupid and I shouldn't feel stupid for caring. And yet still I am a year and a half later as this election goes on, that that whole gender dysphoria thing was just used for propaganda and a culture where no one actually cared about these people. They would just use and spit up. And if they sort of like go against the narrative, any of these detransitioners and spoke up saying this organization is exploiting detransitioners, they would get like these weird emails for defamation because then I didn't, last October, I got an email for defamation. It's so strange because I snapped at one guy, I snapped, I had so much wrath, so much rage, because this one individual made me actually care. He made me freaking care about this issue. I don't know where they are now, these people. I know, but I keep bringing this up because of the election, because you are being rage bait, because detransitioners are being exploited for some sort of, at the end, they just used, you know, and it's kind of, messed up when I got accused of defamation. I expected something a little bit different. You know, and I deleted all my videos because all full of wrath anyway. And there might have been some mistakes of what I said. Who knows what I said? <laughs> but I had so much wrath. And I want to be happier again. And hopefully you will see one of my happy videos. I love you all.